Welcome back, super friends and super family. I am Thor, your friendly neighborhood god of thunder, and today I'm reacting to Friends Season 2, Episodes 3 and 4. So, we're back into a new season of Friends. Had a good time with the first two episodes. Really appreciate how they dealt with the immediate emotional aftermath of Rachel seeing Ross with Julie, who Julie, of course, you know, to make things harder on Rachel, turns out to be a pretty cool person, or at least so far, you know. But yeah, we just had some amusing scenarios. Uh, we got to see Monica and Rachel, a little bit of the tension that their relationship went through, their friendship due to Julie being a new part of the friend group. And like I said, I don't, if I had to bet money, I don't think Julie is going to become one of the main, main characters. Maybe she'll be a recurring side character, maybe not, but I feel like she and Ross are not meant to last. So I guess that's my main curiosity moving forward in this season. Are we going to see more of Julie or is something going to happen? Is Ross going to get his heart broken in some way and he's going to be single again and then we're back to where we were with the Ross, Rachel, will they, won't they? I mean, Part of me hopes that happens just because I feel like Ross and Rachel are made for each other. But at the same time, what we've seen of Julie's character is pretty cool. So I almost wouldn't mind seeing things go well for her sake. And I'd also be curious to see if she is part of the group for longer, how that all gels. I feel like there's a few different things you could do just with a new personality in the group. As always, if you want to watch along the full unedited reaction to this, these episodes, and support what I do, that's up on Patreon along with future episodes and full reactions of anything I don't edit here for YouTube. For now, let's get into today's reactions. Friends, Season 2, Episodes 3 and 4. <laughs> Broke up with her. Oh, why? Why? Because of the big nostril thing. What? <laughs> they were huge. Well, is she snorting too much cocaine? Not that huge. I'm telling you, she leaned back. I could see her brain. Oh. <laughs> Not a couple times with this girl, really hot. Had the biggest Adam's apple. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Joey, women don't have Adam's apples. <laughs> oh, Joey. Oh, Joey. <laughs> I like how they all lift up their necks. That was a good one. For a second there, I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Ignorance is bliss. Uh, first Joey's Taylor, now this. There should be, I'm sure there is. I should take a friend's personality test and see which of the characters I'm most like. That would be an interesting comment. Comment below either who you are out of the friends cast or who you think I am personality-wise, out of the friends group. One woman that you broke up with for an actual, real reason. I mean, Janice, there was no reason to break up with her. Dream girl. Oh, what do you want? You're doing it again. Doing what? It's disturbing my birds. I don't have birds. <laughs> I could have birds. <laughs> Don't stop on his potential dream animals. Janice, you gotta give me Janice. That wasn't about being picky. Yeah, no, we'll no. give you Janice. Oh, come on, Janice. Janice was, yes, come on, I'm like BB. Oh. My. God. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's it. There, faster. <laughs> It's like from 101 Dalmatians, where he hits the broom. It's gonna be- it's war. It's war in the apartment. Oh, Mr. Heckle. He actually died. Uh, he must have been sweeping. They found a broom in his hand. How could they kill him off? He was a good side character. Could have been me. You never know. Never know. He died trying to tell you guys to be quieter. But I can still sense him in the building. Go into the light, Mr. Heckle! Jeez. A little quieter. Okay, Phoebe. Mm. I'm sorry, but. Uh, what is Phoebe's shirt? Is that like newspaper? It's kind of cool. Believe in evolution? No, nah, not really. <laughs> Too easy. Would she be a flat earther? Evolving over millions of years from single-celled organisms is, is too easy. This isn't a personal attack on your career, Ross. Like the air we breathe, like gravity. 
Oh, okay. Don't get me started on gravity. <laughs> oh, good. She doesn't believe in gravity. I like it. You don't believe in gravity? If you watched Dumbo as a kid, explain that. I'm not so much being pulled down as I am being pushed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how? How do you fight that? Oh, there she is. And over there. That's the other one. What? He wants to leave all his earthly possessions, noisy girls, in the apartment above mine. <laughs> Wait, seriously? He left them everything? Have any. Whoa. Dang, maybe he was a decent guy after all. It's amazing how much you can touch someone's life without even knowing it. Would you look at this dump? He hated us. This was <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> I'm so surprised they killed him off. I wonder if that actor had other things to do. I believe in evolution. Oh, just let it go, Ross. Just let it go. You can literally see them evolving through time. <laughs> like how passionate he is. China, Africa, all over. See, I didn't know that. She just needed uh, better teachers in school. Or maybe she wasn't paying attention. Put those fossils there, and why? <laughs> it's a lost cause, Ross. I told you to let it go. Is that meant to be private? Teenth, excessive noise. Italian guy's gay roommate brings home dry cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, even Mr. Heckles thought he was gay. <laughs> it's not like I'm asking for this girly clock or anything. Which, by the way, I also think is really cool. Um, I would not put either of those up. I side with Monica. <laughs> so think of it as your apartment, don't you? Mm. Who pays the rent? That's the deciding factor. Mm. Okay, well, you... Mm, on that for a while. I'm gonna go find a place for my new land. <laughs> opposable thumb. <laughs> How do you explain opposable thumbs? I'm sure she's got theories. Get them to steer their spacecrafts. See, see, El Ron Hubbard would be proud. To make everybody agree with you. Maybe it's time you put Ross under the microscope. Oof. <laughs> Is there blood coming out of my ear? Not yet, but there will be soon. Heckles, you cracked me up in science class. You're the funniest kid in school. Funniest? Heckles? I mean, come on. Heckles was funny in his own special way. Heckles and me? Me? Me and Heckles? Heck Would you knock it off? <laughs> <laughs> you guys could have been friends if only you had known. Can't escape your destiny, Chandler. <laughs> Someone has to fill the role. Too smart. Makes noise when she eats. This is this is me. I mean, you don't have a collection like that, hopefully. I'm gonna end up alone, just like he did. Bitter town? <laughs> alone Bill? Hermit Junction? <laughs> You're gonna find somebody. How do you know that? How? I don't know. I'm just trying to help you out. Hey, just trying to be nice. When you're married, will you invite me over for holidays? <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what we're going to be doing. Oh, I can't even commit to it. What if we're over at her folks' place? <laughs> yeah, I understand. Don't deal with problems you haven't faced yet. You know what? I'm not going to end up like this. Is he going to get back together with Janice? I mean, just to have her back, please do that. Supposedly. <laughs> it's like, what's wrong with that? They go to the zoo? Supposedly. <laughs> I should just say that from now on. Supposedly. Supposedly, I'm watching Friends. Call Janice, please. Please. Janice. Janice. Hi. It's me. Oh yes! My yes! God. Yes! 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 Okay, you only had to wait three episodes. Come on, it was the best thing you could have possibly done. Yes, Janice. Why is that so difficult for you to comprehend? You remember Janice, right? We all remember how amazing she was. Janice is my last chance to have somebody. Hello? Wait, is she pregnant? Oh. My. God. <laughs> I don't even think he was trying to be funny. Jeez, look how fat she got. <laughs> hey, it's everybody. Huh? No way, though. That's not his baby, right? Is it? Is it yours? Ha! 
you wish, Chandler Bing, <laughs> are looking at a married lady. Now. What? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, you're too late, bro. You're too late. Who hers, who's her husband? I hope he's cool. Couldn't have told me about this over the phone? And what? Missed the expression on your face? Oh, no. To have her fun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dang, does that mean she's just gonna show up for that one scene, though? That sucks. You know what we hadn't played in a while? What? Hide the lamp? <laughs> All right, let's vote right now. Is it a good lamp or a bad lamp? I'm sorry, I'm giving it a thumbs down. Well, then you'll just have to eat the other lamp. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's Scary Scientist Man. Yeah, he brought Richard Dawkins with him, pair for a lecture. It's the only possibility, Phoebe. Okay. Ross, could you just open your mind like this much? Yeah, and cross your arms a little. Wasn't there a time when the brightest minds in the world believed that the Earth was flat? Oh, we are going to flat Earth or stuff. I admit that there's a teeny tiny possibility that you could be wrong about this? I mean, nothing's a hundred percent certain. There might be. A teeny, <laughs> tiny. <laughs> it's so hard for him to admit it. <laughs> but props to Ross for doing it. I believe you caved. I know, honestly commendable. Just abandon your whole belief system. Mm. Before, I, I didn't agree with you, but at least I respect you. Oh, really? <laughs> face the other science guys. How, how are you going to face yourself? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now she's just messing with you, bro. He looks genuinely so sad. Oh. That was fun. So who's hungry? <laughs> oh, come on, that was pretty fun. That was not an accident, was it? Maybe it was, but who's gonna believe that? It was an accident, I swear. Okay. I think it actually was. Please, Monica, you've always hated my lamp! <laughs> <laughs> the way she said lamp. Oh, Jennifer Anderson, that's too good. I didn't see it, because I was putting on my jacket. But, um, I want to believe you. <laughs> Not exactly the endorsement she was looking for. Hey, Chandler. Monica just broke my seashell lamp. I'm gonna die alone. <laughs> <laughs> Whose problem okay, is bigger? <laughs> Had to think about it. And now I have to get a snake. Why uh, a snake? Why is that? Yeah. You know, a hook. Like that guy in the subway who eats his own face. <laughs> what? Kids will walk past my place. They will run. Run away from Crazy Snake Man. That's just... <laughs> Uh, where did this slide of thought take you? I reject anyone who's crazy enough to actually go out with me, and then I bitch about the fact that there aren't any great women out there. It does sound like a little self-sabotage going on. You're no different than the rest of them. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yes, he is. How is he different? You know what you want now. But most guys don't even have a clue. That's how much you wanted to be with someone. <laughs> Cheered up by your three girlfriends. Ready to make a commitment. Whoa, don't know about that. <laughs> Oh gosh, well he's still a guy at the end of the day. <laughs> Is that the lesson? What you got there? Something else that's not yours that you can break? <laughs> <laughs> I know you like this and I, I want you to have it. I think it'll look good in our apartment. Oh, you know that must kill Monica to have that there. <laughs> this need to be censored for YouTube, uh, who knows? Hey. Well, you will all be pleased to know that I have a date tomorrow night. With? With who? Unusually large head. <laughs> but I'm not gonna let that stuff hang me up anymore. Look at me, I'm growing. <laughs> I mean, his whole life was in this apartment and now it's gone. It's like we just took a few moments from Mr. Heckles. Say some nice words. I mean, he was kind of a pain, he was, but he was a person. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Heckles. Goodbye. Rest in peace. We'll try to keep it down. Wow, that's pretty sweet. I mean, why would they kill him off? I mean, it made for an interesting episode, but he will be a missed side character. <laughs> sure. My God, that's a big head. <laughs> She's just from uh, Alice in Wonderland, Tim Burton's version. My head must look like a golf ball at work. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing his best. Good dresser. Big head, big head, big head. <laughs> hey, 
here, and the woman was walking alone at night. I would never do that. Get pepper spray. Every woman should carry pepper spray if they're living in a big city, no? There's nothing- <laughs> <laughs> Is that a real pigeon they got on set? <laughs> Dang. I'm gonna get a pot. It's not Just for you. Try to open up the window. Okay. This is not gonna work. Enjoy the gentle comedy. You know how quick you'd have to be? Oh, really? It just sat there? Wow, okay, well done. What are we having for dinner? Pigeon. Pigeon for dinner. Let's open, you guys! Who is that? Uh, just tell her her husband stopped by. Her husband? <laughs> hey, how did you do that? <laughs> It's not, she's a magician, bro. Her husband, she was married? I mean, of course Phoebe was, right? She would have crazy secrets that none of them know about. I mean, if we have a Phoebe-focused episode, that could be good. You know, he was just a friend, and he's gay, and he was from Canada, and he just needed a green card. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Gay? I mean, what the hell were you thinking? See, and you thought she'd be judgmental. <laughs> friend, please, when he left town, you stayed in your pajamas for a month. <laughs> Eat a cheeseburger. <gasps> well, didn't you? Admit to it. Might have. <laughs> it was love. It's yours from when you were having sex with fun Bobby out on the terrace? What? <laughs> <laughs> Told you! Wow, wow, Monica, having a good time. How did he know? Say, oh, I don't know, having a third nipple? <gasps> Wait, really? <laughs> Oh, everyone's gonna start exposing each other's secrets. Bitch. <laughs> whip it out, whip it out. <laughs> See it again. Joey was in a porno movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this. Everyone's getting exposed. They let me be the guy who comes in to fix the copier but can't because there's people having sex on it. So you cameo, basically. Fly. Yeah, is there a hair on it? What happens if you flick it? <laughs> Oh, such a dirty look. So, uh, does it do anything? Oh, look, Julie's there, okay. Pressing my third nipple opens the delivery entrance to the magical land of Narnia. <laughs> the book that C.S. Lewis never got a chance to write. And of virility. You get the best huts and women dance naked around you. Huh? Really? Any of these cultures, perchance, in the tri-state area? <laughs> You're gonna have to get on a long flight, I'm guessing. You, Julie, that's smart. Julie, that's special. <laughs> He's with her now. I'm just gonna have to get over it. It's tough. God, see, I didn't know that's what I had to do. I just have to get over it. Easier said than done. Oh, 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 lady. Where are you going? Oh. Um, I'm gonna go meet Duncan. Hey, she looks so different. You rock that hairstyle. I'm going to see him so I can put all those feelings behind me. Okay. Will it work? Oh, darn it, we're all out of milk. Hey, Chandler, would you fill me up here? <laughs> Oh, they're never gonna let it go. They're never gonna let it go, man. Third nipple thing. <laughs> See you later, Rach. Bye bye, Julie. Oh my gosh, Ross, really? <laughs> oh, puppy love or what? Can I ask you something? Yeah. What? Yeah. Come on, talk. Just say what it is, man. Relationship before ha having having the sex. Are you and Julie not having sex? Really? Okay. Technically? Uh. <laughs> is, is it because she's so cold and bad? Because <laughs> she's like kind of bossy, makes it feel like school. <laughs> This is all good news for Rachel. Plenty of other stuff, lots of other stuff like. No, uh, no, 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 no. Don't need to know the details. <laughs> and with one woman my whole life, and she turned out to be a lesbian. Uh -huh. So you're afraid you have the superpower? Calm down. Nothing sexier than a man who does not want to have sex. <laughs> what? <laughs> You'd wait. Yes, absolutely. I would wait and wait. <laughs> Oh, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. You ask the wrong person for advice. She begs, she pleads, she tells you she, she's gonna have sex with, with another man. That just means it's working. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rachel, this is kind of mean. But Ross, you can't More be this jewelry. clueless, man. <laughs> More than jewelry. <laughs> oh, Ross. <laughs> 
a pretty boss move for Rachel, though. BB! Ta da! <laughs> I think she likes him. You always said I'd make it. Yeah, well, you know, I'm kind of spooky that way. <laughs> Aw, she was supportive way back then. Of course, Phoebe would believe in his potential. <laughs> she can't let go. She can't let go. Aw, oh, Phoebe. Oh, gosh. You had a paleontologist on your face. <laughs> but uh, it's gone now. You're all right. <laughs> but after I talked to you, I talked to Joey. <laughs> Joey looks away. What? What? I'm not involved in this. His way, I get to have sex tonight. Oh, so, God. Uh... I mean, yeah, yeah. Come on, poor Rachel, though. Nice try. This in my pocket? Why? It's Joey's porno movie. <laughs> Pop it in. Oh gosh. I mean, if you're okay watching a video filled with two nippled people. <laughs> Oh, bird right back. Hey, people having sex, that's just what I need to see. <laughs> and females. <laughs> and, uh, and the lighting's always unflattering. <laughs> Monica, help me out here. Hell, I want to see Joey. <laughs> Is there like a story or do they just start doing it right? Oh. Skip. oh. They skip the story. All I say is, she better get the job. <laughs> Have sex. I mean, you know how actors don't like to watch themselves? Do porn stars not like watching themselves? You know, that's bad for the paper tray. <laughs> you had a line and everything? Who wrote the script? Sorkin? There I am. There I am. There I am. <laughs> I kind of need a divorce. Oh. Okay. Oh, she seems hurt. Actually... I'm getting married again. Is it to another guy? I don't know how to tell you this. I'm straight. <gasps> what? Oh, dang. Don't give me that. Well, I guess on some level, I always knew I was straight. Oh, why would you lie to someone about that? And, um, and there's actually a, a woman. Oh. My name's Deborah. Oh. <laughs> Is she the first that you've been with? I'm guessing no. Myself, it was the liquor, and everyone experiments in college. <laughs> what a reversal of situations, you know? No, I don't have a choice about this. I was born this way. Go on your uh, straight pride parade or something, bro. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, it still smells like monkey in there. <laughs> oh, great. Let's just talk. We never just hang out and talk anymore. Isn't that all you guys Rachel, do? That's all we do. <laughs> okay, that's what I was going to say. The whole show is about that. We don't really know you. I mean, who is Julie? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to get awkward. <laughs> well, it could take a while. So? <laughs> pretty well can i go <laughs> like we've we've gone shopping together so now let's start with your childhood what was that like this feels like an interrogation shine a spotlight in her face uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> no but it'll be okay they're pretty cool my brother's straight so <laughs> i love you phoebe you're gonna have to let go phoebe Oh, really? This is just going to make it harder if they actually have a good kiss? Or is that just like a goodbye? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> like, that wasn't a joke. This is Gob? No, Cobb. Like, Cobb salad. And this is torture for everyone involved. Now, what exactly is in a Cobb salad? Oh. There's only so much a friend can take. Uh, Julie's a talker, huh? <laughs> Probably not still playing. Oh, is this her whole plan to tire him out? Oh, I guess I'm just gonna see see what happens. Maybe Julie will be asleep when he walks back in or something. Go well, well then that's that's pretty darn hard to recover from. Okay, now I'm nervous. <laughs> Poor Ross. Oh. Actually happy. You know, I mean really happy. He is. He actually is with her. I'm sorry. No, it's it's not your fault. <laughs> No, she's like, I'm sorry, I've been giving you bad advice. I don't know, I catch me off guard, you know, with like a really good kiss. 
you know, really. Just like from a romantic movie or something. Maybe um, brush the hair away from my face. Uh. And then look at far into my eyes. Amazing is about to happen. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You'd pull me really close to you so that. Oh, the camera's zooming in. Are they gonna kiss? It's just happening. Thanks, Rach. Good night. Oh, that's it. That's it. We cut all that tension. Oh. He leaves. <laughs> Slide all the way down. Oh, they really played up that moment well. I'm guessing he had a good night. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> well, somebody it's got like... some last night. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, it's like the good morning life sequence from Return to Me. Oh, I'm glad Ross was at least happy. All right, so that is Friends, Season 2, Episodes 3 and 4. Uh, really, really good episodes. Really enjoyed those. Um, episode 3, you know, obviously we have many storylines going on, but in a certain sense, I kind of think the more serious angle was focused more on Chandler and his fear of being alone. I mean, first of all, Mr. Heckles died, which... I mean, it, it brought up kind of an interesting theme and kind of some more... Um, heartfelt ideas and emotions especially with Chandler kind of connecting seeing those simul similarities seeing some of those same fears that he has he doesn't want to turn into this grumpy lonely man but I'm, I'm still kind of mourning the loss of an entertaining side character I mean I, I hope it had to do with you know maybe scheduling like maybe that actor had some other engagements and so he's off working more regularly on a different project maybe he just couldn't keep popping up but he was just an amusing character you know i i will i will miss him for sure but if you are going to kill a character off i think um the way that they did it you know they handled it in an interesting way you know kind of made some of our main characters reflect on their own lives a little bit but yeah i feel for chandler you know i, I think it's such a relatable fear everyone is going to have that moment in their life if they're single you know wondering like is there someone else out there for me you know, will I have that dating success? And so just the fact that Chandler can be so honest about that and can kind of, you know, not want to end up alone. Like, of course, that's the feeling of so many people, you know. And it's uh, it was cool at the end of the episode, you know, how we had Monica, Phoebe, and Rachel, you know, all kind of giving Chandler those reassurances, you know, telling him, like, look, there's nothing wrong with you. You're okay. Um, I did appreciate, of course, that we got to have a scene with Janice, who is pregnant and married now. I mean, I'm very happy for Janice, because she does deserve someone and you know i didn't think that chandler and, and she were necessarily a perfect fit but i just i enjoyed seeing them date just so we would have more screen time with her so i'm ho I, I wonder you know I, I don't think the actress herself was pregnant maybe she was maybe that's why they wrote that into the storyline but I, I, just, I hope we see more of Janice. It was it got my hopes up that she was kind of going to be brought back into a major event in that episode, but it was really just for one kind of amusing scene. And then we're really just dealing with, you know, in this last episode, I think, you know, Rachel and her still kind of accepting the fact that Ross is with Julie. And I, I do love the just the setup of Rachel giving Ross bad romantic advice because she herself wish, wishes she was the one on the receiving end. You know, she wishes so much right now that she could be Julie. And I also feel like like now, ever since she's been able to look at Ross as someone she might be interested in, she's picking up on certain qualities that make him good boyfriend material or at least boyfriend material for her that maybe she didn't notice, you know, kind of his more sweeter, vulnerable, available side. And so that's got to make it extra hard for poor Rachel over here. And then, come on, are you telling me with that final scene? I mean, they definitely, like, uh, are really teasing, you know, the will they, won't they? But also, you could feel the chemistry between the two of them in that moment. You know, I, you could sense the yearning, I think, that they, they still have for each other. So, um, you know, Julie, I, I think your days are numbered with Ross, if I had to make a prediction. But I am happy. I'm happy because Ross has been through a lot. And the fact that he kind of has at least this momentary happiness with someone else has that connection. It's like, that's a good relief. You know, at least at least someone in the friend group is is in a good spot in that sense. Phoebe, too. We, we got to have another revelation with her character. The fact that she's married and she's married to someone... <laughs> 
who she thought was gay. Turns out he's actually straight. And there's, of course, that obvious kind of reversal of someone coming out of the closet as straight. Kind of, I feel, I feel like one of those classic friends, humorous conversations where it's like a reversal of a conversation that often we see in a different context. I don't know if I'm breaking it down well, but I think the show does that a lot of times. But it's sad once again, you know, it just brings up, you know, poor Phoebe, you know, getting all dressed up to look nice to impress her gay husband right before the divorce, only to find out that he's straight, you know. And and then they had that kind of kiss there at the end as like a farewell, which reminded me a little bit of the kiss that Phoebe and Joey had um, in the episode with uh, Ursula. You know, I, I feel like Phoebe is just... Maybe that's her kind of romantic destiny, having these kind of sad, bittersweet farewell kisses. Uh, it seems like that's just some of the energy she brings. Ho- hopefully she'll find someone, you know. But yeah, had a fun time. Definitely some funny episodes. Really enjoying season two so far. Hope it kind of continues in this way. And uh, interested to see what, what we're in store for in the future. As always, like I said, of course, the full reaction is on Patreon along with future episodes. If you want to support me, check those out. And as always, remember, be active, be mindful, and be a hero.